Welcome to the Billiard University, which offers assessment tools, a rating system, and learning resources to help graduate your game to the next level. This is an excerpt from the first DVD in the BU instructional video series, which covers all of the topics shown here. Before we look at the exams, let's do a quick review of important fundamentals. Of course, the most important fundamental is to have fun. The mental side and psychology of pool are also extremely important. Here, we will focus on the mechanics of important technique elements including pre-shot routine, stance, and stroke. Now let's look at some details concerning stance. The important elements are stability, good and consistent alignment, body clearance for the stroke, and comfort. The stance can be a very individual thing, and you will need to do what works best for you. However, here are some generally recommended guidelines that you might find helpful. First, if you have trouble deciding where to stand, here's a good place to start. Position the Q-tip close to the cue ball with the cue aligned with the desired shot direction and move your feet until the grip hand is at your side. This plants your back foot in a good place for the shot. From there, you can step either forward or to the side with the other foot as you slide your bridge hand into the line of the shot. Here's another example. Notice how because I'm taller and like moving forward into the shot, I have my tip much farther from the cue ball, but the process is similar. Notice how I slide my bridge hand into position while keeping my cue and vision aligned with the desired shot line. Due to my height, I prefer to bend my knees some to allow me to get my head close to the cue without neck, back, or hamstring strain. A low head position allows me to better visualize the tip contact point and the line of the shot. Here's a more classic textbook pool stance that might work well for you, especially if you aren't very tall. The back foot is beneath the cue and at an angle relative to the shot line. The front foot faces the line of the shot at an angle to the side and forward of the rear foot. The back leg is straight and there is a slight bend in the front leg. The feet are generally a shoulder's width apart or maybe a little more if you are tall. A low head position is achieved by bending at the waist. This creates neck and hamstring strain for me due to my height, so I prefer bending both knees instead to be more comfortable. Your bridge arm should be extended straight out in front so you can see as much of the cue as possible to help with visual alignment. Make sure your cue is as level as possible to minimize cue ball swerve off line when you hit the cue ball off center either intentionally or by accident. Don't elevate the butt of the cue on normal shots. Your stance can be more open or it can be more closed. Things you want to avoid include leaning into the shot too much or having your weight too far back. You also don't want your feet too close together. Finally, make sure you have enough clearance for the forearm and cue to swing freely. Here my body is a little too close. Again, there are many variations and alternatives for a good stance. Remember, the important things are stability, good and consistent alignment, body clearance for the stroke, and comfort. If you have trouble with any of these elements, you might want to consider making some changes. Otherwise, be as consistent as possible with what works for you as an individual. The Billiard University DVD series is a three-volume set. Disc 1 reviews fundamentals and covers the exam process in detail, providing a complete how-to guide for getting a BU diploma. Disc 2 covers exam 1, the fundamentals exam, in detail, providing instruction, hot tips, and examples. Disc 3 does the same for Exam 2, the Skills Exam, covering the Bachelor's, Master's, and Doctorate levels. For more information and to order DVDs, please visit the BU website. Randy and I want to send special thanks to the BU professors for their useful feedback while we were developing the BU exams and rating system. Their input as experienced and respected instructors was invaluable.